A Commonwealth Court judge should make a decision about the business relationship between UPMC and Highmark by the end of this week. At issue, whether the consent decree between the two health care providers should be extended. John Delano is live in Harrisburg with the very latest on this case. And John, what have you learned? Hey, David, we are at the Judicial Center in Harrisburg, where about an hour and 15 minutes ago, today's hearing wrapped up. And frankly, I've been to a lot of these hearings as an attorney. This one was rather boring, but it is so important to thousands in western Pennsylvania. More than a dozen lawyers representing UPMC, Highmark, and the Attorney General's office entered the Pennsylvania Judicial Center Monday morning to begin a two-day hearing on whether a five-year 2014 consent decree could be extended beyond its June 30, 2019 deadline. At stake is access of thousands of Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield customers to UPMC doctors and facilities at lower in-network rates after that date. Deputy Attorney General Jonathan Goldman insisted a modification clause in the consent decree gave the parties the right to ask the court to extend the deadline in the public interest. Quote, UPMC never negotiated for a carve-out. Silence is not enough, unquote. But UPMC counsel Leon DeJulius vigorously disagreed, saying a deadline is a deadline. Quote, the Attorney General's claim is simply not credible. The agreement struck was a five-year deal, unquote. The first witness on the stand for three and a half hours was Executive Deputy Attorney General James Donahue, who said he engaged in shuttle diplomacy in June of 2014 between UPMC and Highmark because UPMC refused to be even in the same room as Highmark. But he testified the effort to get a consent decree was important, quote, we were concerned that UPMC and Highmark, left to their own devices, could kill somebody or bankrupt somebody, unquote. Hence the consent decree. But under vigorous cross-examination, Donahue acknowledged the AG's office has never used a modification clause to seek a contract extension. We're confident in the case that the Office of Attorney General uh, put on in court today, here in Commonwealth Court. Attorney General Shapiro and his team will continue to fight for all-encompassing uh, affordable access to health care for Western Pennsylvanians. And no matter what happens this week, uh, we're not going away. Today was the Attorney General's day to present uh, his testimony. Uh, tomorrow will be UPMC's day to present our testimony, and we look forward to doing so. But a lot of the key elements of our story began to emerge today in, in cross-examination. Now, UPMC really had a, an interesting afternoon because the counsel for Highmark was on the witness stand, and the UPMC attorney really went after him. We're going to have much more on that coming up at 6. Live in Harrisburg, I'm John Delano, KDKA-TV News.